Premier Doug Ford and Deputy Prime Minister Christopher Freeland were in Oshweekin today. Yeah, they were there to make an announcement about a battery storage project, but Ford was also grilled about a family party last summer that has raised some questions about its connection to a group of Green Belt developers. Eric Viano joins us live in the studio with more. Eric? That's right, Phil. Taz, the Ontario and federal government are investing what they say will be the country's largest battery storage project, and it will be located in six nations of the Grand River. However, after the announcement, questions from reporters were mostly directed at Premier Ford and his daughter Stag and Doe last summer. Ford defended the fact that developers were invited to the party and denied allegations that they were tipped off about the province's plans to develop parts of the Greenbelt. Speaking to reporters at today's event, Ford appeared agitated by questions regarding which developers attended his daughter's stag and doe. I have two more weddings coming up too, so we'll give you the list after that too. It's ridiculous. This is ridiculous to be frank with you. Ford defended the fact that developers were invited to the pre-wedding event and addressed media reports that suggest guests attending the party were asked to provide gifts some up to $1,000. Nothing is more personal and private than your family and uh, going to a, a stag is not unusual for anyone. I know the difference of uh, what we should and shouldn't do. Our family's been in politics for 30 years. It comes as Ontario's Integrity Commissioner cleared Premier Ford of any wrongdoing. He cleared it 1,000%, not 999, 1,000%. Meanwhile, the government was in Six Nations to announce investment in what's being called the Oneida Storage Project, a project that the province says will store electricity when it is not being used, and return it to the power grid when needed. Ford says the province has directed the independent electricity system operator to enter into a 20-year deal with the project as part of its push for more clean energy supply. It will more than double our province's energy storage resources and will provide enough electricity to power a city approximately the size of Oshawa. Meanwhile, Ottawa says it is investing $50 million. This project is going to help create great jobs for people in Ontario. It will store and supply the clean electricity that our province needs, and it will help create economic opportunities for Indigenous communities like Six Nations. Six Nations say they have investment in the project and says it will take 97% of the local construction workforce to build it. We'll also bring socioeconomic benefits to our community and provide a boost to the well-being of our entire nation. However, a representative from the Haudenosaunee Confederacy Chiefs Council says they weren't involved in talks about the project. The, the elected bank council does not have the express written verbal sanction or permission from the Confederacy Council to be talking on issues pertaining to our lands. That's the sole authority of the Confederacy Council. Well, our biggest concern is obviously the environment because that's what we stand for as Haudenosaunee people. Eh? So we don't know what effects um, this deal is, is going to have on the environment. Now this is all expected to happen relatively soon. Premier Ford says the project will begin operating in 2025 and will more than double the amount of clean energy storage.